This, the second in our series of presentations, will cover some basic principles of stand magnifiers, together with the main reasons why patients opt to use this type of device. We follow on from the main optical features discussed in the previous presentation, which cover the principles of hand magnifiers. Like hand magnifiers, stand magnifiers are just as useful to those individuals who have good vision and who simply need additional light and magnification for a specific task or hobby. For those with a visual impairment, the use of a stand magnifier returns a degree of previously lost independence or gives hope in accomplishing either a simple or a more complex reading task. I shall cover the main features of stand magnifiers under the following headings. First of all, power in design. What is a stand magnifier and how does it differ to a hand magnifier? What is the range of available strengths or lens powers found in stand magnifiers? What are the main design features that are unique to stand magnifiers? We shall look at the field of view, together with the working distance that the user will need to adopt to get the most out of the device. And we shall also review the importance and need for integral lighting, and also the importance of the quality of the light used within these devices. We shall look at the additional design features that are important across all optical magnifiers that have a bearing upon the success of the device and ultimately whether the aid is used or not. And finally, the relevance of wearing the most appropriate spectacle correction to achieve optimum focus. So what is the definition of a stand magnifier? The device pictured here is a commonly used and prescribed device. It differs from a hand magnifier by one significant difference. This stand magnifier sits directly on or over a flat surface, such as a page or a photograph. The lens therefore sits at a fixed distance. For those who find holding a hand magnifier awkward or find it difficult to keep steady, a stand magnifier is far easier to maintain focus. With the advantage of having the magnifier sitting directly over the page, there has been the development of a diverse range of designs that may incorporate more than one lens, like this one. The Macrolux, seen here, although slightly heavier than the equivalent powered hand magnifier, is still light enough in weight to move up and down a column of print. With the lens sitting flat onto the page, the unique Ceratec hard coating prevents scratches if any debris has become trapped underneath. The gentleman here has placed the Macrolux directly over the column of print, and the unique shape of the lens allows a whole line of column of print to be viewed at any one time. With a hand magnifier, one hand is in constant use. Although he will still need to move the magnifier up and down a column of print while reading, he may leave the magnifier on the print at any time, allowing for a hands-free option. With this magnifier, the gentleman is also using both eyes and is sitting in a comfortable, natural position. With greater degree of stability, there is the option to include additional lenses. Larger devices, such as the Visualux Plus, as seen in the photograph, incorporates a double lens system that achieves three times magnification with good coverage or field of view. The image remains sharply in focus even at the extreme edges of the magnifier. Having two lenses within the magnifier may increase the overall weight of the device, but to many this compromise is acceptable when the field of view covers a large area of the task. Here, a comfortable reading posture can be maintained, allowing both grandmother and granddaughter to view the photographs together. Stand magnifiers are not just used for reading. A regular request is to be able to write underneath the magnifier. The Scribilux has been designed for this purpose and is being used here for a puzzle. The Scribilux has one of the largest lenses available which has been mounted on a stand at a distance which will allow a pen to be used. It may also be used to sign cheques or even write a letter.
much attention has been given to how a patient holds and moves a device. In the award-winning Parallax range of magnifiers, the magnifier moulds comfortably into the hand. It is also possible to place a pen beneath the Parallax lens. With a simple symmetrical design, either hand can be used to move the magnifier when necessary, suiting both left and right-handed users. In being able to keep the lens at a fixed distance, it also follows that stand magnifiers are available in a wide range of powers. The popular system Vario system has the widest range of powers of all. In the lower powers, lenses are rectangular like this one. In the higher powers, however, lenses are generally circular. This 125 half times stand magnifier is amongst one of the strongest available optical devices. At this power, the diameter of the lens is smaller, however, with good quality optical design, the image of the print beneath is sharp enough right out to the edges of the lens. As with any optical magnifier that is held or sits above the page, the field of view of the print or object can be improved if the viewer's eye is as close to the lens as possible. When a stand magnifier has been left on the table, this will mean that the viewer will need to bend or stoop over the page, which may not be acceptable to many of our older patients. If the stand magnifier is light in weight, both the reading material and magnifier can be lifted together closer to the eye but with larger, heavier magnifiers this may not be possible. In this picture, the patient has raised the magnifier closer to the eye by using a wooden reading stand. The Parallax magnifier is light in weight and yet has a strong level of magnification. Being able to read in this way may be a compromise from a normal reading position in a comfortable armchair, however it has been adopted by many readers and has been shown to be a very successful method in improving the patient's field of view. In summary, therefore, some of the main advantages of stand magnifiers include a fixed lens to object distance, which keeps the print or object steady and in focus for the viewer. The device may be comfortably placed and left on a flat surface, useful to those with poor handling or shaky hands. There is a greater range of powers or strengths available. Some designs will allow for a pen to be placed underneath the lens. There is a wide range of designs to suit a variety of different tasks. And finally, they are straightforward and uncomplicated to use, allowing for a hands-free option when desired. The large majority of stand magnifiers come with bright, low-energy LED lighting. Just as important in the design of a device is that the lighting is distributed evenly within the field of view. The LEDs must be placed so that there is no possibility of glare when the patients move in close to the lens. Several stand magnifier designs are available in two or three different colour temperatures, which some research suggests benefit specific eye conditions such as cataract or macular disease. More often than not, however, it comes down to personal preference. In the Parallax range, lighting is available in both cool and warm colour temperatures. Lighting comes with additional weight, however the Menas Lux in these pictures requires only one battery. This cuts down the weight of the device considerably, 
When not in use, the device will also power off after 30 minutes. This feature has now become incorporated into several of the stand magnifying design products. The superb quality LED light is distributed evenly across the object in view. Lightweight and easy to use, this magnifier has become popular with visually impaired and normal sighted viewers since its launch. Not all designs incorporate light. Removing integral lighting in a design will significantly reduce both the weight and portability of the device. The MENA Zoom has a double lens system, which with an anti-clockwise twist of the casing can increase the magnification of the device from 2.2 to 3.4 times magnification. The clear plastic casing allows light to fall onto the page from all directions. The additional features such as weight and durability, anti-scratch coatings, handle design and thickness, buttons and switches, and the ease of changing batteries are just as important with stand magnifiers as they are with hand magnifiers. Several stand magnifier designs incorporate the power off switch automatically switching the device off after 30 minutes if not in use. Several magnifiers in the System Vario range have additional retractable lens with increased magnification or an additional reading line or measuring reticule. And in the Macrolux in this picture the edges of the lens are cut away so that the lens can fit into the spine of a book or a telephone directory. And finally, one of the most frequently asked questions from patients is, which spectacles must I use? When using a hand magnifier, either the patient's distance or reading prescription may be used, and the patient will find the best possible focus accordingly. With stand magnifiers, however, the best possible focus will be achieved with either one pair or the other. In the Eschenbach range of magnifiers, optimum focus will be achieved when the patient is wearing their reading correction but that may not hold true for other brands of magnifiers and is ultimately dependent upon the distance that the lens sits above the page or object in view. If the magnifier is placed at the focal length of the lens, the patient will require their distance correction if they have one. If the lens is set within the focal length of the lens, the patient's reading correction will be required. Together, hand and stand magnifiers make up the majority of all optical low vision devices prescribed and sold. With such a diverse product range, stand magnifiers are often the device of first choice for those looking to achieve a hands-free viewing option.